everybody. Happy Thor's Day. I am working in my Tolkien 2 Towers journal that was made by Lee Ann at Creative Freedom Papers. This is my first page in this very inspiring journal. I have to explain what happened here with the, <laughs> with the bag. My sweet little daughter-in-law, 2B, um, pulled this bag out of her luggage and she said, Oh, Mama Tammy, when we saw, when we got this bag at the store, we thought, Oh, we have to give this to Mama Tammy. She can make something really pretty out of it. And I love that she, um, that she thought of me. And yes, you know, I immediately thought, Oh, that is just, you know, that damask pattern is just luscious. <laughs> and I really did love it. Um, in order to, to use the bag, I did have to cut it down, but I left it, I glued it into my journal and I left it open on the left side and I left it open at the top. So what has happened is it's kind of like a big pocket and I can put things into it. Um, and it really did work well. I, um, here's why I did this journal page and I'm trying to do documented life and, and I, I, um, this is what happened. My driver's side window broke in my car, in my beautiful Betsy Blue Jeep, um, in the down position. And that required an immediate repair. Now, I am very, very lucky. Brought the car home, and um, uh, I told Chris what happened. And Chris is a mechanic, so he's, you know, he's adept at looking at things. Um, his specialty is Nissan Z cars. So, you know, typically he usually can't help me with, with my, my Betsy Jeep, but he does like work on my Betsy Jeep and he does do things to it. But um, like a major repair like this was going to not be something that he was going to be able to do. Um, luckily, he was able to take off the door panel and kind of ascertain that a cable had broken. And probably the cable couldn't be replaced. It was going to have to be the entire motor of the window that was going to have to be replaced. So I was like, oh, shoot. You know, because it's February and, <laughs> and it's winter and... You know, that wasn't really something that I wanted to purchase was a, uh, a motor for my car window. Anyway, um, I, I was, I was like, oh gosh, you know, at, uh, that all I could think of was just, oh gosh, oh gosh, I wish this had not happened now, but you know, it did and I was going to have to have it repaired. So Chris, uh, called Tim, the mechanic. Uh, Tim lives at the end of my street. He has a shop down there. And he explained the problem to Tim and what was going on. And Tim said, hmm, he said, yeah, they don't make an extra cable for that. He said, so it's not going to be a cable fix. It's going to be uh, a whole new motor fix. And we were like, oh, Lordy. Um, but anyway, I, um, I... Chris took the car down to Tim, you know, just walked it down, and Chris could explain exactly what went on with the car. Um, the door panel was already off, so that was something that Tim didn't have to do. Um, I'm, I'm writing, right now, I'm writing on a tag, I'm writing the positive aspects about this whole situation. And it is a... Uh, writing positive aspects is just a way to make yourself feel better when... Things don't go according to plan. Um, I'm using a tag that Leanne already had in this beautiful journal. Um, I'm listing positive aspects. The window broke at home, and it did not happen on an out-of-town trip. The window broke on a beautiful sunny day. Um, I was out running errands, and I had finished my errands, and <laughs> miraculously couldn't get the window up, but was on my way home. Um, Chris is a car mechanic, so he could assess that situation, and he could call my mechanic. I have a mechanic that has a shop within walking distance of my house. I mean, how, how blessed am I? Um, Tim was able to do the work immediately. When I went to pick the car up that afternoon, Tim said, now this is no lie, y'all. Tim said, you know, I had a big job that was going, going to take me all day long. And I was, um, he said, but 
It was so strange, Tammy, when Chris brought that car down here, the guy that I was going to do the work for decided that he would try and get the truck to Miami where he lived and have a guy in Miami work on his truck. So what kind of timing is that? Is that divine timing or what? Which essentially, Tim not having to work on the truck gave him <laughs> the entire afternoon to work on my car because he didn't have any other work to do. I'm trying to turn this negative situation into a very positive situation. So that is the, the trick about listing positive aspects. You're just going to make yourself feel better about the whole thing. Um, I, uh, Chris was able to walk the car down and um, I went to pick it up in the afternoon and it was expensive. It was really expensive. Um, a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. But here's the thing, you know, I was really, I'm very blessed. Um, I have good credit and I had a credit card and I was able to put that repair on, on my credit card. So here I'm pointing out that I'm trying to turn a negative into a positive and I'm slipping that tag into the, um, the top of a pocket that I made from a piece of cardstock uh, that featured old cars. <laughs> well, I thought it was really, really cool. Um, this is a little card that I made. If you guys watched my uh, tutorial about making ATC specifically for this journal because I'm starting to do a lot of observational journey, journaling as well as positive aspects journaling. I talked about that in the last uh, video that I did about ATCs and, and the Two Towers book. So you, I will put an I card up here so you can kind of revisit that. Um, it's just a different way of journaling. It's not a... Um, uh, my friend calls it gentle writing, and that is what it is. It's very gentle writing and kind of goes along with the, the, uh, the teachings of Abraham and, you know, not just Abraham, but, you know, um, I mean, I think that we've all read a lot, a lot of texts, you know, Wayne Dyer, Deepak Chopra, Shakti Gawain, all of these great teachers teach us that it's our thoughts that kind of control our world. And the better our line of thinking and the clearer our line of thinking, you know, the better off we are. So on this little star card, which I just absolutely adore, I, um, I wrote some observations. Um, things happen. Stuff breaks. I'm appreciating good credit and a credit card. And I'm appreciating a very quick repair. That was also a super easy repair. Um, Tim was able to get my car finished in just a couple hours. And then that way I could kind of get on with, um, I did have to go to the market that day. So I was able to go ahead and get on uh, and get to the market. I realized that um, this tipping that I'm using this card as a tip-in, and I'm remembering that Lee Ann had a tutorial about um, preparing cards for tip-in, and I'm remembering how she did it. So I'm cutting the washi tape that I'm using. Isn't that cool washi tape? I love stars, and that washi tape is just, it's blue stars, and they have gold um, outline on them. So I'm crazy in love with them with this washi tape. Uh, the girl I cut out of a catalog, um, friend Kathy sent along a whole bunch of catalogs and um, I have been processing them usually on Monday nights uh, while I'm sitting downstairs. I do hairy paper clips and then on Tuesday nights I do uh, mini books and then on Wednesday nights I usually process magazines um, so that was kind of uh, that was kind of uh, this, this little girl was one of those uh, processing magazine things that I did last night and I really do like her I thought she was just really sweet I like her very much my glue is running out 
um, a course because I'm doing a video about my first page in my two towers video <laughs> in my two towers journal <laughs> uh, the other little piece down there says um, don't forget to seek wonder uh, hold, hold on a second I'm sorry I'm looking at my journal it says be aware of wonder and at the end of everything that happened, I think that was the 20th, which was what, Tuesday? I went to the market and I found a penny in the parking lot. To me, finding a penny is one of the finest things in the whole wide world. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you my number or thing. Um, there was another, another thing that Kathy sent along and I've wanted one for so long. I was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. And it's vintage. Even the box is vintage. So I am time stamping my first journal page in this uh, Creative Freedom Papers journal. I'm trying to figure out exactly where to put that. Uh, I think I kind of glue it in up here somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna glue it. And then I realized that it is a sticker. It is a Leanne sticker and <laughs> I'm so excited because my glue has run out and I really didn't want to use a glue stick in here because sometimes glue stick makes things curl. So yay, thanks Leanne. I appreciate that sticker so much. Uh, and here I am, I've completed the page. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll try some observational journaling of your very own. See you later.